back everybody. So today we're going to try Blue Raspberry uh, from Evil Twin. Uh, Evil Twin Brewing. Um, that's what it says. And I almost used the glass. I'll show you the picture. Obvious. Oh, come on. Is the light too much? I think you can see that glass right there. I almost used one of those just to see what this is going to look like. Um, but yeah, uh, so $3.29, that surprised me. Now, uh, from untapped or on the side of this, 6% ABV, Sour India Pale Ale with Raspberry Flavor. Um, extract, not real raspberries, wrong color for ras blue raspberry. I don't think there's such thing as blue raspberry, but I do like raspberry, I like blue raspberry in candy. Um, so let's get this thing open. Uh, cane on date is 618, uh, two months old. I'm three months old. Sorry. I hope this thing is blue and it's good. It's green. They missed the mark on color. That is not blue. Who? Man, I am disappointed already. Like, you can tell, that is not the same color. Oh, okay. <laughs> I almost want to say a blue head. There's, it's weird. There's a blue ring, but it's white all over the rest of it. Dye? Has to be dye. But yeah, small and medium bubbles, mostly small, not even a half a finger of head, probably because it's sour. Ugh, disappointed. It is blue or green. That's not blue. Why? Uh, pretty clear. It does have some shell haze, lots of bubbles coming up. Man, that dis that's so disappointing. I mean, I guess it's good for Halloween that it's that color. But that is not blue. Okay, I'm over the color. I got another hair in this one. Let's go ahead and smell. Oh, too much. Um, I smell the raspberry. Uh, not as sweet, more tart than it is sweet. Almost like my raspberry ale that I usually make every year. Yeah, kind of a little bit of that fermented flavor. Almost like, uh, usually I leave my raspberries in secondary for three to five days. And you pull them out, you let it drain, you smell it. That's kind of what it is, like a fermented raspberry. A little bit of tartness, sourness on there. But other than that, that's what it is. I don't, I don't smell the IPA side. It's more of a sour, could you say gosa? A fruited sour, something in that core category more than an IPA. Let's go ahead and taste. I'm not sure where the IPA style is kicking in. The raspberry is there, the dryness is there, but you don't get the really the sourness um, of like a fruited sour or maybe like the saltiness of a goza, like a raspberry goza, something like that. But it seems like that raspberry stays around. But blue raspberry, I, I I wouldn't say blue raspberry. Like blue blue raspberry would be artificial. I you can't I can't really tell. Like if I knew nothing about this, if this was actually fake or not. Um, this. There's not a style here, but the raspberry flavor is okay. I 
Well, there's all of it. It's still not green. Or, it's still green. It is not blue. Come on, evil twin. Make me a blue one. That is pouring blue. I'm never going to get over it. Taste is okay. More watered down than anything. The sour, the tartness, there's a touch there. Not as much as I want. 3.5 out of 5. Definitely drinkable. Easy drinking. Not going to make you yak. Anything like that. Not overly sweet. 3.5 out of 5. Let's check untapped. One of my friends has had it. 4.5. 5,000 people. 3.75. What did I say? 3.5? I can't even remember now. Raspberry tart, perfumey, musty. What are these people doing? Yeah, his isn't even blue. Yeah, that's the only one. I'm done talking about this beer. I'm going 3.5. I don't know if that's what I said or not, but I feel bad now that I just said it, then said something, then I couldn't remember what score I gave it. So, yeah, if you like this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.